Welcome to the channel. I'm Heath. And today we're going to be talking about how to set up OBS to record footage from your phone or tablet without the need of a capture card. Anyway, let's show in this video. Let's check it out and let's set up all this inside of OBS by just using one piece of software. All right, so let's jump into this thing here. So a lot of people I watch on Twitch and a lot of people I, that I watch that live stream and YouTube as well that make YouTube content, they stream Clash of Clans or they stream Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes. And one of the biggest things or one of the biggest problems that you have with that is the fact that you have to have a capture card to be able to capture information from your tablet or device that you're using or that you're streaming from. With this app that we're gonna be using today, it's going to actually mirror what is on your phone or tablet. It is iOS compatible and it is Android compatible as well. So it works on either one of those devices. So if you have an iPad or if you have an Android device, this app will work on both of those and will be able to allow you to stream information from your phone or tablet to your PC. And you can set that up inside of OBS. That way you can have a camera inside of OBS. If you have like a laptop or a portable setup, you can have a, a quick and easy setup. That way you can live stream from it, make YouTube content and have your camera in there. Have some alerts if you want them as well. But let's jump in here. Let's see what we need to do first. And then we'll go through all the simple little steps. These steps apply not only to iOS, but Android as well. Okay, so the first thing that we actually need to do is go inside of the Play Store and we're gonna search for the Any Miro app inside of the Play Store or iOS, whichever one you're using. And it should bring out Any Miro, Mirror Phone to PC or your uh, tablet as well. So once you do that, you're gonna tap on it and you're gonna click install, allow it to download the program onto your phone. Installation is just like any other app. So once you actually get it installed and get it open, it is gonna ask for permissions for the app itself. So allow Any Miro to send you notifications. You're gonna go ahead and allow that and any other permissions that it requests, you're gonna to need to do that as well. And then you're gonna read it with this screen right here. This is our USB connection. So you can connect your phone or tablet to your computer through a USB connection. But for today's video, we're gonna be using a Wi-Fi connection. USB is pretty much straightforward. Uh, plug the cable into your phone, plug it into your computer, and you can go from there. But we're using Wi-Fi. That way it's a little bit easier and a little bit more accessible. So now that we have the Enemuro app installed on our device, before we can actually start streaming, content from our device to our PC. We're going to have to download a program to our computer. We're going to go to the iMovie.com website. That is where you get it from. So let's go ahead and pop over there to the website real quick. And as you can see right here, we've got iMovie.com. And there are a lot of different options up here at the top. The one we're going to be looking for right here is media and file. And then we're going to mouse down to any Miro. And it's going to take us to the any Miro download page. Just scroll down just a little bit. And it gives you some options here. You can see one is a paid version and there's also the free version of the software as well. So I'll just go ahead and hit free download and it's just going to go download onto your windows platform. Or if you have a Mac, you can use it on a Mac as well. So once the software is finished, you're going to go ahead and set it up and install it just like you would any other piece of software on your computer. And then we'll go through the steps of actually setting it up. That way we can stream content from our devices. Once you get the software installed, you're going to be greeted with this window right here. You're going to be able to choose iOS or iPad OS or Android device. In our case right here, we're going to be mirroring to an Android because that is the device I have. And it's also going to ask you whether you'll connect through a USB cable or Wi-Fi connection. In our case, we're going to be using Wi-Fi today. So again, it's just going to say that please keep your Android device turned on and computer connected to the same Wi-Fi network. In this case right here, this is what we're going to do. So let me find the Enemiro app on my phone real quick, and then we'll get started from there. So once you get the software open back up on your phone, you're going to choose Wi-Fi connection right there. Just go ahead and tap it. It's going to take you to the next screen, which is going to be looking for the connection on your computer. It's also going to ask for permission to send audio via this connection. So you can actually choose OK if you want to send audio, or you can cancel it if you don't want to send audio through that connection to uh, your PC. So uh, I'll go ahead and click that. And then you're going to be greeted with the next one. Any Miro Heath in this case is my connection that is going to be showing from my computer. So let me pop back over here just so you can see exactly what's going on. So right there is looking for any Miro Heath. We're going to go back real quick and you can see it right there as well. 
there is the any mirror he connection. So once that pops up, you're going to hit connect and it's going to go through the process of connecting your device to your computer. And then it'll actually show the screen on your computer as well. All right. So after you choose the connect option, it's going to bring you to the next screen and it's going to ask for permission to actually start recording your screen right here. So start recording or casting with any mirror. It uh, gives you a warning as well that any mirror will be able to access any information that is on your screen. So if you don't want to show certain things on your screen, be aware that regardless of what you do while the any mirror software is open, that it will show it while you are streaming from your device to the program on your computer. Okay. So now that we've got the any mirror app connected to the any mirror app on our computer, let's go over and create a game window. In this case right here, I've already got one set up. It's just going to be a window capture option, just like we would any other program inside of OBS. So let me adjust this window just a little bit. My phone is not 1080p. It is a little bit different size. So we can actually adjust the window to fit inside of OBS. So create you a window capture. You're going to be choosing any mirror.exe. Any mirror live stream is going to be the window that is going to be capturing. And just like that, you have now successfully started streaming software from your phone or tablet to your PC inside of OBS. Okay. So now that we've got the iMovie software set up and installed and we're streaming information from our phone or tablet to OBS and to our computer, let's go over to the website and look at some of the other features that are included with the any mirror software. So just like a lot of these programs, we are using the free option. There are some paid options as well. Plans differ from monthly, quarterly, or yearly plans. The monthly plan is going to cost you 60 or 15.99 per month. It's going to unlock all the features of any mirror, no watermark, 4k quality mirroring, no time limit for screen mirroring and unlimited mobile devices and up to five computers. Then we have the quarterly plan right here. Quarterly plan is going to cost you $6.66 per month or per quarter, just more or less saying $20 per quarter. Again, the same features. And then we have the yearly plan right here, which is going to cost you two fifty dollars a month, which is going to be billed one time for a price of $30. So my suggestion would actually be this. If you like the software and want to use it after you try it, test it out and you see all the features of it, I would just go ahead and drop the $30. That way you can unlock all the features. You have a year's worth of use and it only costs you $30 versus some of the other options that would be more expensive in the long run. So now that we've looked at all the different options that are available to us inside of any mirror, let's pop over here and let's give our final thoughts on using the any mirror software for live streaming or for mirroring our device. All right. So here's what I look at. Some of the pros are it is easy to set up. It is easy to use. It does not take a whole lot of effort to set up and it does not require, require any external devices such as a capture card. If you decide to use a USB cable, you can do that. But if not, you can use it over Wi-Fi. So those are my positives of this. It is free to use, but only for a limited amount of time. However, the paid versions that are available out of all of them, if you want to go ahead and purchase the program after testing it out, I would go with the yearly plan. And that is the $30 for an entire year. It allows you to unlock all the features that are available inside of the app. I would not recommend the monthly or quarterly options because they are just going to cost you so much more in the long run. There are some other options out there available to you, such as mirroring 360. I think that app actually requires a one-time flat fee for it to be able to use it for a lifetime. But if you want to use this software or any software that is available out there for mirroring, from your phone or tablet to your PC. You now know how to set it up because most of them are pretty much identical when it comes to setting it up and being able to mirror from your device. But anyway, boys and girls, thanks so much for watching the video. Even if you decide not to use the any mirror software for your live streaming or mirroring needs, you now know how to set up something that a similar app for your device to use inside of live streaming without a need for a capture card at all. Anyway, hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned something from it, like I said. And until next time, much love, peace out, and we'll see you soon.